This is everything you pan here, and today doing another video tutorial on installing Windows NT 5.0 build 1877 on actual hardware. Now, this is a tutorial where I'm winging it. I have not tried this yet. This is still, um, if I can do this, um, this is still Windows 98. As you can see on the left side, it says Windows 98. If I go to um, Windows, not no, not that. I was trying to do Windows R, but if I do Windows key and R, and I type in Winver, oops, hit enter. There it is, Windows 98. Um, and if I do the right click and hit properties, there you go, Windows 98 Second Edition. So, I'm going to be trying to install a beta build of NT 5.0, which became Windows 2000. And this is build number 1877. So, what I'm going to do here is, I'm going to put in the disk. This was the same disk used to do uh, the 98 install, but I rewrote it to a NT build of it. And we're going to be doing the upgrade process. I was going to try and do a clean install, but I feel like that won't work. I mean, it might work, but I just, I feel like that will not work. But, so, what I'm going to do is, I'm going to, um, first of all, I'm going to get the BioState, which I totally forgot. I need to get the BioState for my other computer. Um, but here it says, this CD-ROM contains a newer version of Windows than you are currently using. And it says, would you like to upgrade? I will be upgrading, but I need to get the BioState first. Let me get this. Actually, I gotta go to here. Hang on. Okay, so I actually restarted and went into my BIOS and changed the... Uh, um, BioState. So now you see it is set to August 18th of 1998. And we're going to, excuse me, um, insert the disk again. Now we're going to go through the upgrade process. So now it says again, the CD-ROM contains a newer version of Windows than the one you were using. Would you like to upgrade? Yes, I would. Once again, I am completely winging this, um, so I have no idea if this works. So we're going to hit upgrade and hit next. I'm going to accept the terms and agreements. Hit next. Hit next again. Next, one more time. At least I think one more time. We'll see. Oh, I got to do it again. Uh, no, I do not have any upgrade packs. Um. And now this is asking if I want to upgrade to the NTFS file system, which gives you added file security, reliability, and more efficient use of the disk space. Um, but I'm not actually going to upgrade. I'm going to leave it as FAT32. Hit next. And now it's going to prepare the list of components and prepare the setup database. And it's preparing the upgrade report, basically. So this can take some time. Be right back with you guys in a bit. Well, before that, it says, to maintain compatibility with your DirectX 8.0 applications, you will need to download DirectX update from Windows 2000 from that website. So click OK. And now it's examining programs and everything. So now I'll be back in a sec. OK, so now it came up with this. Provide updated plug and play files. So we're just going to hit next. And then we're going to hit next to um, bypass the upgrade report. Uh, let's just review. Hardware, I don't know if there's anything that's incompatible. All these things, but that's okay. So let's just go ahead and hit next. And we'll hit next again. Now it's copying the files over, which uh, is actually moving quickly. So we'll let it do its thing. So it's done copying the files. 
and now it wants me to uh, restart so let's go ahead and do that and now you heard it reboot we'll see where it takes us from here I don't know if it'll pop up with press any key to boot to install from the CD or anything but if it does I'll just take the disk out and restart we'll see I don't know if it adds that on it. So now you can't see it, but it says uh, Windows NT 5.0 workstation setup. So now it's starting Windows NT setup. And it's blurry, let me focus that. There we go. So we'll see what it does here. Probably should have taken the disk out just in case, but that's okay. Okay, so now it's examining the disks. It says it could take several minutes, but it looks like it's moving pretty quick, so I don't think it'll take a while. Nope, that's already done. And then I think it's going to do the re reboot. It's getting a list of files to be copied. And there we go, now it's copying all the files. This will take some time so I'm gonna go ahead and pause again I'll be back with you guys in a sec okay so now it's restarting show them the splash logo here and we'll see I'm not gonna press any key to boot we'll see if that option comes up this time I don't think so doesn't look like it's coming up with anything so it must not have that boot option so we're just gonna let's sit here until it loads up the uh, setup here we go OS loader version 5.0 so it's loading Starting Windows NT. So you see there is the Windows NT Workstation 5.0 Beta 2 startup right there. So it's preparing to start Windows NT setup. So it's going to hopefully load here. We'll see. Like I said, I'm kind of winging it here. I'm not sure when it's going to do anything. Okay, so now it's installing. Windows NT security features. So now it's installing and configuring the devices. <clears throat> Excuse me. So I'll let that go for a bit. I'll be back with you guys once that's uh, finished. So it's copying over files now. And it's going to configure computer upgraded, save configuration, and remove temporary files. So let's let that sit. I'll be back with you guys again. Because now this came up, but this really isn't a problem at all just because I don't have an Ethernet cable plugged in. Because um, I have it plugged into a different thing. And I did have an Ethernet cable plugged into this earlier, but I needed it for something else, so it doesn't really matter. <clears throat> Jeez. It doesn't really matter. Because I'm not really going to use this for Internet anyway, so. Can I can. Gosh. <clears throat> gonna continue on with the setup? Anyway. And. And I'll be back. Okay, so now it says completing the Windows NT 5.0 setup wizard. It says it successfully completed the setup. When you click finish, the computer will restart. So, now I need to remove the CD drive, which I just did. And let's hit finish to restart. And... Let's just hit 
let's just hit yes on this. Okay, nothing moving there. Let's just hit close. And it should reboot. Yep. Okay. There's glare coming in. There we go. And my other computer on. Oh. There we go. I wanted to shut off. Okay, so let's do... It's not popping up here. There we go. Windows NT Workstation version 5.0. Wait, I don't know why MS-DOS is there, but that's okay. And now, I think it should boot up. Boot up. We'll see. Sometimes it takes a bit. There you see the OS loader up there, version 5.0. Try to get it to focus as best as possible. And there's the boot screen. This is good. We are getting the boot screen here. And I'm pretty sure this does not come with audio to start off with, but we'll see. If not, I can always try and install it audio drivers because I want to see if the uh, startup sound is on here so it's logging me in now so I think it has to ask for a password but we'll see Nope, nope, I don't. Alright, so I'm logged in as the administrator. There we go. We have successfully installed Windows NT 5.0 version 1877. And I can confirm that by going to up here and clicking properties. This is hard because I'm doing it with one hand there. It says Windows NT 5.0. I can also do the Winver. It says Windows NT 5.0 version 1877. So now I'm going to try and get an audio driver installed. I don't know if this will work for this or not, but we'll try it. I need the USB drive, so just a second.